Hear you, hear you. This is Lord Potato, and this is what if Naruto was from a special clan, and also the brother of Tedera. Uh, let me explain. Um, it's okay. I'm beginning to explain, and also, uh, this is part one, and also this is a redo of this this what if that I did like I think two months ago. Or was it a month ago? Two months? I can't remember when I did it. But I remember doing it as a one shot. Yeah. So, um. I wanted to redo that one. Because I liked how I did it. But then I wanted to redo it. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, let's begin. There is a. A. Okay, let me say that again. There is a man, there's a woman, and there is a child. A elder child, and then there's a baby. The man has yellow hair. No, no, I'm just kidding. Not yellow hair, but has long brown hair. And he is an artist. He loves making uh, stuff out of clay or stone or anything. And he is from the stone village. His wife. She is a also from um, the Stone Village, but she is from a clan called the Explo the Explosion Clan, or whatever they called them last time, the Explosion Clan. And um, she has yellow uh, yellow hair, um, bright blue eyes, and. She always has like her one of either her hair going down and blocking one of her eyes, either the right or left, or maybe just both one time. But she is the mother and the father who has brown hair, who doesn't have long hair. He has just normal brown hair, but an artist. He is the, both of them are the mother and father of Teidera. He is two years old right now and his younger brother who is named Naruto ex um, hmm. Wait. you might not the explosion clan is called Bakuhatsu Bakuhatsu the clan the clan so Naruto's name is Bakuhatsu Naruto Bakuhatsu that is his full name his first name is of course, Naruto, his last name is Bakuhatsu. And um, his mother has that last name. His elder brother, uh, Deidara, has the last name also. The father has his own name, his, but he also took the clan's name, the Bakuhatsu, since he is married to um, Alenya. You know, I'm just going to call the mother Alenya. Alenya Bakuhatsu. And the guy's name is, the father's name is. Um, Roko, Roko, uh, Bakuhatsu. So yeah, but he is an artist. He likes making a lot of art and all that. He's not really much of a ninja, but that doesn't mean that his jutsu isn't that much of jutsu. His Roko has uh, what's it called special jutsu, actually making things out of art, either with ink, clay, stone, or anything to defeat his enemies. They don't explode or anything, they just either come to life. He can either make it into like a dragon or anything. So that's why Data is actually more lovable to using clay and his explosions. So, of course. There is Data's abilities, but of course Data is two years old. Now, I should mention that the Fort Hokage. So you see here, since Data is two years older than Naruto, this is where it's gonna happen. Minato Namakaze, when he was defeating people in uh, what's called the Stone Village, he decided to do a crime than just slaughtering a bunch of people. Now, Roku and uh, Alenya are actually good friends of the Sushikage. 
And when the Sushikage heard about Deira having, well, having Deira and having Naruto, he was so happy that that was actually a thing, since they are very good friends. Now, Minato and Amakase did a crime by killing Roksu and Lenya and taking Naruto. You see here, both clans, so Roksu is from the clan of the art, I'm gonna just say artisans. Fuck it, I don't know, let me, let me, let me. So Roku was from the Artisto clan, which created most of all their jutsus into artist things, like drawings and all that. And Larnia was from the Bahu, uh, Bakuhu Ha clan, who are almost all dead. Same with the Artushu uh, clan. <sighs> um, so when that, uh, when Minato killed them both, Minato also saw Naruto, of course, as a baby. Minato just decided to take Naruto. Deira could really do absolutely nothing when he saw Minato Namakase take uh, Naruto. But before he can also take Deira, uh, Deira launched clay attacks at uh, Minato, which did a pretty good explosion, and Minato tried to just kill Deira. When stone, um, stone ambus, uh, yeah, stone ambus, and so stone ambus, and also the Sujikai, it comes in and some, uh, what's called Minato. Of course, they attack him, and of course, Minato has a scrap, he has like a large scar down his stomach, and all that. He almost got killed with Sujikai's attack. Sujikai was so pissed with Minato and Namakaze. Killing two of his favorite people, taking the kid, and basically Minato has a higher bounty than in normal canon. Like Sushikage is pissed, and he even tried to kill Data, young Data. So of course Sushikage keeps Data on lockdown, and then he he hopes that Naruto isn't breedy or anything, but. Minato, when he took Naruto back to the, um, back to the, uh, village, now, when that happens, uh, Kushina saw the baby, and Minato was about to use it as, like, bargaining or anything, but Kushina took him anyway, like, since, uh, Kushina and Minato could not have a kid, they just took Naruto, and uh, Naruto hair, yeah, um, it kind of looks just like Lanya's with the crystal lace blue eyes. And also, um, he had no whiskers, so of course there was no whiskers or anything. But, uh, what's it called? When they had the kid and all that, of course, Naruto's only like six months old uh, when the time passed. So yeah, six months passed and all that. And of course, the Sushi Kage is pissed, but of course, he can't do anything because the war ended for a while ago. Like, three months ago. So, yeah, he can't do anything. But now, six months. And uh, this is where the Nine Tails attack happened, blah, blah, blah. Naruto has to have the Nine Tails seal inside him by Minato Namakase. And Naruto's hair was going to grow long like that person. So, what Minato decides to do... Is put a very powerful Genshin for no reason on Naruto to make sure that he looks just like Minato Namakaze and so Naruto doesn't think that he is from another clan or anything. Actually, no, Naruto does not, well, he does have blue eyes, but one eye he does have a red eye. Now, the red eye kind of shows that he's from the Bahu, Bakoha clan and all that. Since uh, Langya also did have it, but sort of kind of mix with the blue eyes. Like half split between eyes. But Naruto has a full red one. And that's why Minato and Makaze had it to put a Genshin on him. And so that's the thing. Um, so the Nine Tails still got sealed into Naruto. I'm going to say full Nine Tails. Uh, no, not full Nine Tails. Just half. 
And, um, of course, Minato still half of them also inside him. And, of course, Kushina tells that this is Naruto Uzumaki, not Naruto Bahoko clan, from the Bahoko clan. So, of course, Haruzen takes him in, and Naruto, when he is five years old, also, yeah, he got definitely kicked out. So, original canon happens and all that. Naruto, at six years old, he's so sad, wondering who his true family was, or who his family was. And, um, yeah, he was just sad. He was just very sad. Also, Deidara is eight years old. And Deidara really hates the Fort Hokage from the Leaf Village. Even though Deidara cannot remember about his brother and all that. This is Shikage. Oniki always told him about how he had a brother and all that. Named Naruto Bahukan. And since Deidara was the one who actually experienced how to use clay and all that, and artist things, Naruto won't be able to awoken that much easier. So, so when Naruto was, is, so Deidara is eight years old, and of course he remembers about Minato Namakaze taking his brother and killing his family. So, of course, Deidara is pissed and wants to become stronger enough to actually kill Minato Namikaze. But he heard that Minato died. And he really hopes that Naruto isn't used as breeding stock for the Leaf Village. For um, him being uh, two very powerful clan. Um, well, the Shishikage was the one to think about that. But Deidara is also smart and doesn't want his younger brother to deal with that life. But little do they know, Naruto doesn't deal with that life. Doesn't be a prince or anything or people just want him to have a breed for clan and all that. No one no no one actually knows about his identity. Only Haruzen knows about Naruto being Minato's son. That's the only thing they know. They don't know about him being from uh the Stone Village. Naruto doesn't even know. And so Naruto, we do another time skip, and he is now eight years old. Naruto, at this time, he hates the fact people, like, hate him and all that. And one day, Naruto got beaten up so much. Of course, the classes, the uh, whole um, academy classes, he got enrolled without him even saying he wanted to be in it. But, of course, he got beat up on the day that the academy did not start. It was the next day. But, of course, he got beat up at that time. And he actually went into his mindscape and met the Nine Tails, Karama. And Karama just looks at him and um, Naruto says, So, you must be the Nine Tails. Naruto, this one, is smart. He's a genius. He, do he doesn't show that he's a genius because he knows about Fuller just hating him even more. But Naruto just says, So, you're the Nine Tails. Kurama said, yeah. Now, kid, go the fuck away. Naruto says, I'm not going away. I'm wanting to know, how the fuck do I free you out of my damn stomach so you can go the fuck away from me? And Kurama t took that, like, what the fuck? Um, yeah, take that paper seal. And Naruto said, I'm not stupid enough. I'm not going to fall for that. Kurama said, fine. Whatever, kid. And Naruto says, wait, aren't you like a thousand years old? Don't you know any like sealing jutsus or sealing and releasing jutsus or whatever? Kurama said, yeah. Let me free you, you damn nine tails. And Kurama took him back by this and just said, hmm. Are you sure you don't want to use my power? Naruto says, I don't give a damn about using your powers. I just want to fucking... Release you so I don't need to have a fucking connection with this damn village. And uh, Karama was like, okay, let's do it then. So Naruto gets healed by Karama. Naruto now goes to his house. And the next day is the uh, academy. He goes to the academy. Uruka kicks him out. Naruto says, okay, whoop. That's one way, easiest way. 
So of course, Kurama just says, "Okay, go to your house and I don't know, let's just talk and um, I'll teach you a lot of things." So like to uh, about ten years, not not ten years, sorry, uh, two more years. So Naruto, he is now ten years old. Um, and he had like ten year time scale. No, ten years old, and um, Naruto. It has became a seal master really fast since he wanted to learn really fast and all that. Since Naruto is 10 years old and he wants to leave the village soon as he can, also, I should mention that Deira is 12 years old now. And Deira really wants to get his brother back. He just doesn't know when. So. Naruto is just eight, uh, 10 years old, and of course, the Uchiha Basker was all that. And of course, Itachi is gonna have to go recruit. Wait. So, of course, they wanted to get Data on all that, but yeah, Data did not want to go to the Katsu members. Actually, he did go in as a spy, just like Itachi goes as a spy, also. So, of course, Data is. I'm gonna say he is 12 years old, and since Naruto's 10. Of course, they all here to get the Jinchurikis and all that. Deidara was fine with that, unless he can find his brother and actually destroy Konoha. So his real mission was destroy Konoha, but he just put an illusion saying, Art is an explosion! <laughs> so yeah. But he's looking for his brother, his long lost, uh, long lost younger brother, Naruto. But Naruto's in the village, back to Naruto, and he is a seal master and all that, and now he can actually take out Karama out of his stomach while dying. And Karama will leave some, like, uh, like a little bit of his Intel chakra, and Naruto, so Naruto doesn't die. But yeah. Naruto, he is 10 years old and he doesn't want to be in the academy or doesn't even want to be anywhere near this village. So, he decides to wait for when he's 11 years old. Actually, he does it when he's 12 years old. Deirdre is now 14. And Itachi, I think he was like older than... Yeah, you know what, never mind. So of course Data looks young, but of course he's older and all that. Or he's old, older, but he's younger. He's only 14. He's actually one of the youngest and the Akatsu and all that. And Naruto, he is now 12 years old. So yeah, I did a two-year time skip. So Naruto, he is in the academy, the final exam, whatever. He goes in. He fails. He doesn't care. Uh, Mizuki tries to make him. Steal the scroll of ceiling, but Naruto actually thinks about him taking that scroll of ceiling would be good So he does it Aruka Tries to stop him and all that Well Naruto takes it, but of course Naruto So let me say that again Naruto takes it Reads it gives it back and say Mizuki is the one who tried to betray him So of course the next day happened is of course they have to go to the whole academy and all that to find their teams and all that. And, um, Naruto, instead of going to the academy, he went on top of a tall building and say, Hey, stupid villagers, look up here. I'm a ninja now. Blah, blah, blah. But really, he fell anyway, but he's just making fun of everything. And people are just looking at him saying, You demon, you brats and all that. And Naruto says, Whatever. Release and he released the nine tails and the nine tails just poof up and just looks at everyone. Everyone is screaming the nine tails. Everyone is just screaming ah. Uh, ninjas are trying to attack the nine tails. Really, none of them actually fucking work. And Karama, what well, he says, hot you stupid fuckers. See ya. And he just jumps away running. Naruto says, hell yeah. Now Naruto goes back to home and goes to sleep. And everyone is panicking and all that. So Nambu comes 
and tells Naruto that he has to get ready and get to the Hokage office and uh, Hokage summon him. Naruto doesn't give a flying fuck. And then the Yonbu said, I said, hurry the fuck up. And uh, Naruto said, fine, let me go to the bathroom. He says, no. And Naruto says, let me go to the bathroom or I'll fucking just pee in the Hokage office. And the uh, Yonbu said, fine, whatever, take, hurry up and all that. Now, Naruto, even though he was learning a uh, ceiling master at 10, uh, 10 years old, he mastered it. He also learned about his actual true clan. His true clan of the uh, ba Bakuko and the Artistic uh, clan. So, um, what's it called? So, Naruto, he actually learned about his true family. When he was talking to Kurama, and when he took out the paper thing or whatever, and of course that didn't really kill him, he met Minato and Kushina. But really, Naruto says, you're not my real parents. Naruto actually figure out how to break the Genjutsu and actually how he looks like. He looks like a mini version of uh, Deidara and Lyrene's, um, Lyrene's, uh also. Long, sort of long hair, uh, sort of hair that can almost cover his eye, that's red and all that. And the blue one that's crystal based blue from his father. So, Naruto says, you're not my real parents. I found out the Genshutsu broke and all that. So, in the Genshutsu, of course, it looks just like the original Na uh, Naruto Canyon with three mo uh, whiskers and all that. But Naruto never had that. And Minato's like, damn it. Uh, Kushina was like, yeah, we are. We're your parents. And Naruto says, be gone then. He throws an explosion jutsu at Minato and Kushina. Minato tried to attack Naruto and actually stop him from releasing Karama and all that. But really, the thing doesn't really release Karama and all that. It mostly fuses their chakra and all that. But Naruto did a ceiling where it wouldn't let that happen back in 10. So yeah, I'm talking about when there were ten, when Naruto was 10 years old. And Naruto did an explosion to suit, killing both Kushina and Minato's chakra away from him. He knew about his... He doesn't want to... He didn't even know his real parents, but he knew that Minato and Kushina wasn't his real parents. So, Kurama just says, well, okay, brutal. Well, I guess, yeah, they weren't probably your real parents. So, let's hurry up and do this. So Naruto actually did a shadow clone, but not any normal shadow clone, an explosion clone. When the clone decides to disappear, it does a huge explosion. So Naruto sneaks out of the window and runs away, the actual real one. The explo uh, exploder clone follows the Anbu. They go to the Hokage office and that clone kind of waits. For um, the Hokage and the council members to talk about him. So Naruto tells him that he sucks. He hated that job. He quit. Donzo said you had to have it. Naruto smirks and says really. Because no one ever told me about that job. You stupid prick. I know pe people really don't like his language. But Naruto didn't care. And also. Uh, Haruzen. He just looks as. Naruto like just. Looking at him, deaf, uh, deaf star and all that. And then, Haruzen really didn't want to reveal his actual heritage and all that. So he just looks at Naruto and says, Well, even though you're not a ninja or the Chinchiriki, I have to reveal your heritage. Naruto smirk. He knows about how Haruzen hide the fact that Naruto was not the son of Minister Namakazu. But Haruzen doesn't even know that. Naruto knows that they are not his real parents. And, um, what's it called? Uh, Haruzen said, Okay, kid. And he then says, Minato Namakaze and Kushina Uzumaki had a kid named Naruto Uzumaki Namakaze. And Naruto just started dying. People are just wondering 
Wait, they're shocked, and Naruto just starts dying. And Horusen kind of looks at Naruto, saying, Why are you laughing, Naruto? Naruto then says, They aren't my real parents. Are you that dense, Hulk, uh, old man? And everyone looks at Naruto, saying, What do you mean? Ah, uh, Naruto then says, Minato Namakaze put a very powerful Genju to me to look just like him, but with whisker marks. But that's not my real form. I managed to break that stupid Genju too. And um, Haruzen was like, "What do you mean?" The explosion clan. Uh, I mean, not explosion clan. The explosion clone reveals the true identity of Naruto. Whisker Marsh just decides to just leave his face and all that. Long hair happens, and he just has. He looks just like a smaller version of Data, but not really. Like his hair is like tied this way, and uh, his long hair is kind of blocking almost his red eye. And Naruto says, "This is how I look like, you fools. Do you really think I look anything like Minato Namikaze or Kushina Uzumaki? Where's my red hair? Where's my blue eyes? Those blue eyes. I have crystallized blue eyes and a red eye. Do I look anything like them, you dumb fucks? Everyone is shocked." Haruzen is more shocked, and Naruto said, Since I am not the son of Minato Namakaze or Kushina Uzumaki, I don't have any fucking necessary to be in this damn village. And then Haruzen just says, So, Minato lied to me saying that it was your son. Of course, Grandma Ray left and all that. And Naruto smiling, Yeah! And then he then says two words. Actually, more than that, two words. Then he says, I am. He, what well, he says, Haruzen. You know where I originally came from? Because Naruto also did get the memories from the Nine Tails, like actually unlocking a little bit more about his mind and all that. Even though Naruto didn't remember uh, his parents and all that, he just, the only thing he remembers, he's from the Stone Village. And, um, that's a car. Naruto says, Haruzen, I originally came from the Stone Village. Minato Namakaze kidnapped me. And Haruzen's eyes just shock. Dawn's on everyone's just shocked. So, um, everyone is shocked. And Naruto just laughs. He's like, I'm going back home. I'm going back to my to my actual village in this village. Now, fuck you all. And Harusen says, no you don't. Even if you are from the Russian Stone Village, you are raised, you were, you were born in this village. And Naruto said, how the fuck am I from this village when he kidnapped me? I'm going back. So I can explain everyone that I know all the jutsus of the ceiling, um, the seal jutsus, uh, the ceiling scroll. And Haruzen was like, what do you mean? The ceiling scroll, he like, tells one of the ambulance, uh, go check on the seal scroll. They found out that it was just a fake seal scroll and Naruto then, and then the ambulance came back. Naruto was smiling and everyone is shocked that he's going to try to tell the secrets or give the secrets towards, um, what's it called, the Shishikage. Now, Naruto, um, the, I mean, the Amba come back, tells, uh, what's it called, Haruzen that the scrolls are fake and Naruto has it. And so a bunch of Ambus, even Root Ambus, appeared right in front of Naruto. But Naruto kind of sat in the middle of the whole table and all that. And a bunch of Ambus were ready just to kill him and all that. Even the clan members were just ready and all that. Kill him or stop him. Or subdue them. So Naruto says, Too late, you suckers. I'm already out of the village. Ha ha ha. Kaboom. <laughs> Killing. It kills some of the Ambus. Some of the Ru Ambus. It didn't kill them all. It also kill 
uh, some council members, um, Hiyashi was one of them, um, some of the other clan members, some of the uh, civilians and all that. And Naruto, he hitched a ride on a, uh, what's it called, what's it called, traveler, a um, merchant ride and all that. Naruto jumps out and says, see ya. And Naruto is running straight towards the stone village. Now, of course, he passed through uh, Kumo, the uh, lightning village. He just passes through there. He just wanted to go in the village. He asked if he can go in. Some of the people said sure and all that. Like, they didn't see Naruto as a threat or anything. And so, Naruto stays in the lightning village. And he just stays there for a little. Actually, not lightning village. I'm going to just say a village that sort of allies with the stone. And then Naruto kind of just starts rushing to stone now. Um, let's go. Now, Naruto managed to get to the stone village after like a week because he ran so fast using his chakra and all that. He also managed to chakra manipulation and all that on the feature, just run really fast. And of course, he stayed in some villages, but then he kept going and all that. Thanks to uh, Naruto saving money and actually not spending it this time from Haruzi and all that, that he actually managed to get a pretty good place and then he went back to uh, the stone village. Two stone uh, guards, two stone village uh, ninjas guards that were at the gate said, Halt, who are you? Naruto still in his like Genjutsu form and actually hasn't mentioned that or anything. He says, hello, my name is Naruto. And the stone villagers heard of that name. I mean, stone villagers, no. Stone uh, guards just heard of that name, but he says, your last name? Naruto says, I don't have one. They said, okay, what is your business? Naruto then says, I want to talk to the uh, Sushikage about something. The guard said, okay, uh, you can come in, but one of us have to take you and actually see what you're going to do and all that. Or actually just take you to him. And, um, of course, make sure you don't do anything stupid or rash. And Archer says, fine, I'm okay with that. And, of course, one of them takes him towards the Sushikage. Now, the Sushikage did get, like, like a little bit of letters and like crypto uh, message from data about the cottage and all that and um he uh oniki did get about like how they want to collect archer turkeys and then cur uh what's it called cur courtesy cur courtesy courtesy i forgot her fucking name uh what's it called the um the granddaughter of oniki so her name is Kurtosuski, and uh, she's actually a good friend of Deidara. She was uh, Deidara's best friend and all that. And of course, when uh, she was like there kind of talking to her grandfather and all that, Oniki, uh, one of the stone village guards kind of knocks on the door and says, Hokage, uh, not Hokage, Sushikage-sama, can I come in? Sushikage says, yes, you can come in. He then explains that there is a kid wanting to talk about something. His name is Naruto. And yeah, Oniki kind of doesn't know about the name. He's like, Naruto. Interesting. Seems familiar. And Naruto walks in. And Oniki sees him. And it looks just like Minato Namakaze, but the whisker marks are kind of blocking him and all that. And... Oniki says, you can leave now. The uh, guard left and all that. And Naruto, uh, the door kind of shut and all that. Naruto says, hello there. And Oniki says, hello. So what what comes, uh, what brought you to the stone village? Naruto says, well, originally, um, this was my home. Originally, this was my home. And Oniki said, your home. Hmm. Interesting. Okay, where did he leave? Honikid tried to question Naruto. Naruto says, Well, the Fort Okage stole me from the st uh, stone village. 
I don't know about my parents. The only thing I kind of got from my nine tails beast that kind of lived inside me before, before I decided to set him free to destroy Konoha. Uh, not really. He just said set free. Um, told me that I was from the Stone Village. And uh, Oniki said, Nart, 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 Bahe, Bahu Ken. And um, Oniki kind of thought about it in his mindscape. But then Naruto looks at Naruto and says, You don't look anything like the kid that I remember. And Naruto says, Oh, this is just my Genshi to that, that stupid Fort Hokage put on me to look just like him. And Oniki was pissed. Miniature tried to, who just kidnapped a um, good friend's good friend's kid, and also tried to force him a life to being just like him. Oniki was pissed on Minato Namakaze, but happy that he's dead. Naruto released the Genjutsu, and he just looked like a younger version of Larion Bahuka. Uh, I mean, let me say that again. And he looks just like a younger version of Lariana Bahukisake. And Oniki just looks at him and just says, Lariana? Said it really kind of loud enough to people to hear like Kurosuke and also Naruto. And Kurosuke is sort of older than Naruto. She is 14 years old and she's the same age as Dedera. And Naruto... He is, of course, 12 years old. And, uh, Oniki then snap out of his mind and, uh, out of his, like, head and all that. And says, ah, you, you, your Naruto Bahasuki are too stupid, uh, from the two clans. And Naruto says, what? I never heard of those. Of course not. You've been from the village for 12 years. I'm so happy. That Oniki just starts crying and it's like, I'm so happy that you actually came back. You didn't stay in that village. That village didn't mind control you or anything. And Naruto then smiles. So, what should I call you? Oniki says, you can call me anything. Grandfather, I don't care. I'm just happy that the, uh, the, my favorite two, uh, ninjas son just came back. And then Oniki thought about it. Tedera, he must hear about this. And then Naruto, before he even says, you're two fair ninjas? Oh, and they read, uh, Naruto said one more thing. Also, I want to mention something. They didn't brainwash me in the village, mostly treating me bad because I had the nine touch and trick because of Minato Namakaze sealing inside of me. And Haru's, I mean not Haru's, and Oniki got pissed at the leaf. Ninjas dare uh, touch a young uh, Bahusi and artistic, artistic, yeah, you want know fuck it, artistic kid like Naruto from his two favorite ninjas, or one artist and one ninja. And um, Oniki was just like, I'm gonna make those damn leaf ninjas pay. I'm gonna make sure that damn dirt Hokage pays for allowing that abuse happen on my precious Naruto. And uh, of course, Oniki sees Naruto as a grandson and all that. He sees Kurosuke, of course, as a grandson. He saw Deira as a grandson and he sees Naruto as a grandson. And um, Naruto, he just looks at. Uh, What's called Oniki and says, so do you, I can call you grandfather? And Oniki says, yes. And Oniki then says, Kurosuke, um, please show your, uh, what's it called, um, brother towards a, um, nice place in the, uh, what's it called? <coughs> what's it called? <coughs> And to our house and all that. And Curtis Lucy was like, really? Father? But, not gr I mean father. Grandfather? 
And Kurtzuski just saw the smile, the actual smile, like joy smile, like the actual happy smile. And Kurtzuski just took Naruto towards the house. Now back to the Leaf Village. The Leaf Village is in just shock. They lost the Nine Tails. The Nine Tails is free and never to be ever talked about. And Naruto, who is from the, originating from the Stone Village, just left. Also, before Naruto decided to leave with Kurosuke and all that, Naruto then turned back to uh, Oniki and said one thing. Ah, I forgot to tell you. Uh, not one thing. He also just says, Ah, I forgot to tell you, uh, Oniki grandfather. And Oniki said, yes, Naruto. Naruto pull out a scroll. And uh, he gives, he kind of just like, then uses like, <clears throat> chakra to poof out a giant scroll. And um, Oniki said, what is that? Naruto says, this is the scroll of sealing from the leaf village. I took it. And Oniki just looks at Naruto shocked that he just took the most powerful thing in Konoha that was in the Jujurgi, but the the uh, like the jutsu from the first, second, third, and fourth. And Oniki says, "This kid's a genius." <laughs> I knew it. A Larianta and a uh, Roku's son would be so goddamn a uh, genius about it. Just like Deirara. I gotta keep a little bit of secret of Naruto from Deirara. And so, Naruto left. And of course, Kurosuke also left. But, <clears throat> that didn't mean anything. I mean, that didn't mean something. They left to the house and all that. But, back to Oniki. Oniki is looking through the juice and all that. He's like, ah, the yellow flash and all that. Stupid Minato Namikaze. You dare take... The son of two of my best ninjas. Now this kid has betrayed Konoha and easily infiltrated so easily. Ha, you stupid yellow flash. And he was just talking to himself and all that. And Deirara actually then appeared right next to uh, Oniki. Like he body flickered right next to Oniki and said, Hello there, old man. <laughs> He kind of just smiles at Oniki. He like smiles with this and all that. Okay, you see him. He's like in this like sort of. He has this like flower crown on. He's smiling. He's in his costume robe. Also, he has this like explosion clay bird and all that next to him. But smaller. He just looks at Oniki and then smiles and says, Hey, old man. And Oniko. I mean, Oniki. Uh, Deira was like, so old man, and Oniki was like, holy shit, Deira, what the fuck? Why the hell did he just scare an old man like me? Deira was just like, so, what are you reading, uh, old man? Oniki was like, ah, oh, fuck off, Deira. Whatever, I am reading the scroll of ceiling from the leaf village. Deira just then stops, kind of, sm well, he keeps smiling, but then he just says, ah, who brought this upon you? And Oniki then smiles and says, Well, Oniki, your younger brother, Deirara, stops smiling and then looks at Oniki dead serious and says, My younger brother, you mean Naruto. Oniki smiles again, kind of just smirks and all that and just says, Yes. Don't you want to go see him? You can go see him with uh, Kurosuke over there at my house and all that. And Deirara... Just wanted to just jump out of the uh, jump out the window and like run towards his house, but he still has a mission to do and all that. And he really wants to just spend time with his younger brother and all that. But then he just says, "So he came back." Huh. Uh, what's it called? Dad starts. Sort of like crying but in joy of tears. And like smiling and all that. He's like, he's here. I really want to go see him. But I don't know how to go see him. 
And uh, Oniki says, well, he's a very powerful uh, ninja. He managed to actually break a seal that the Fort Hokage tried to put on him. Oniki heard, I mean not Oniki, uh, day that I heard it, I was like, what kind of seal? He tried to seal the nine tails inside of Naruto, which backfired on him since Naruto decided to summon the nine tails on, on upon the leaf village. Oniki smiles. He's like, wow. Also, Oniki then he says, well, even though uh, Naruto has done all that, Naruto ju looks just like uh, your mother. And Dator was like, Wait, my mother? And Oniki said, yeah, your mother. He, he almost looks just like your mother and almost just like your father. And they don't really wanted to go oh, see Naruto really bad. And then he just says, well, I still have a mission, old man. I hope you train my younger brother well. And Oniki says, I mean, even though I'm not good at explosion jutsus or art jutsus, I can try to help your brother. Your brother. Tedra. Tedra says, well, old man, I have to leave. He takes off his flower crown and all that. He makes the bird become bigger. And then he says, well, bye, old man. Flies with the bird off and all that. Naruto just sees a giant clay bird just fly by. And he feels something. He sort of started like crying a little bit. But he doesn't know why he cried. Because you see here. The giant clay bird that Deidara is using. Is actually something that both Deidara and Naruto's father. Uh, Rosh, uh, Roko actually did a giant clay bird. That wasn't an explosion or anything. But also then color it very like colorful and all that. It's still in the stone village and all that. But Naruto, then he just stopped crying and then he just walked with Kurosuke and all that. So this is where I'm gonna kind of leave it off. This is part one of what if Naruto was from a special clan, or should I say special clans? But yeah, this is just that. Okay, have a nice potato day, potato night, and potato sleep.